Day 82. Joshua 13-15. Now Joshua was old and well along in years, and the Lord said to him, You are old and well along in years, but very much of the land remains to be possessed. This is the land that remains, all the territory of the Philistines and the Geshurites, from the Shear east of Egypt to the territory of Ekron on the north, considered to be Canaanite territory, that of the five Philistine rulers of Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron. As well as that of the Avites, to the south, all the land of the Canaanites, from Mira of the Sidonians to Ephek, as far as the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gabalites, and all Lebanon to the east, from Baal Gad below Mount Hermon to Lebohamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon to Misrephothmaim, all the Sidonians, I myself will drive out before the Israelites. Be sure to divide it by lot as an inheritance to Israel, as I have commanded you. Now therefore divide this land as an inheritance to the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The other half of Manasseh, along with the Reubenites and Gadites, had received the inheritance Moses had given them beyond the Jordan to the east. Just as Moses the servant of the Lord had assigned to them, the area from Aror on the rim of the Arnon Valley, along with the city in the middle of the valley, the whole plateau of Medba as far as Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon king of the Amorites who reigned in Heshbon. As far as the border of the Ammonites, also Gilead and the territory of the Geshurites and Maacathites, all of Mount Hermon, and all Bashan as far as Saelka, the whole kingdom of Agin Bashan, who had reigned in Ashtarot and Adriah and had remained as a remnant of the Rephaim. Moses had struck them down and dispossessed them, but the Israelites did not drive out the Geshurites or the Maacathites. So Geshur and Maacath dwell among the Israelites to this day. To the tribe of Levi, however, Moses had given no inheritance. The offerings made by fire to the Lord, the God of Israel, are their inheritance, just as he had promised them. This is what Moses had given to the clans of the tribe of Reuben, the territory from Aror on the rim of the Arnon Valley, along with the city in the middle of the valley, to the whole plateau beyond Medba, to Heshbon and all its cities on the plateau, including Dibon, Bamathbaal, Bethbaalmian, Hahaz, Kadimoth, Mephoth, Kiriathame, Subma, Zerath Shahar on the hill in the valley, Beth Pir, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Shimoth, all the cities of the plateau and all the kingdom of Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon until Moses killed him and the chiefs of Midian, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, the princes of Sihon who lived in the land. The Israelites also killed the diviner Balaam son of Beer along with the others they put to the sword. And the border of the Reubenites was the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the clans of the Reubenites, including the cities and villages. This is what Moses had given to the clans of the tribe of Gad, the territory of Jazer, all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the Ammonites as far as Aroer, near Rabbah, the territory from Heshbon to Ramoth Mizpeh and Betanim, and from Mahanaim to the border of Debir, and in the valley. Beth Haram, Beth Nimrah, Sukkah, and Zaphon, with the rest of the kingdom of Sihon king of Heshbon, the territory on the east side of the Jordan up to the edge of the Sea of Chinnareth. This was the inheritance of the clans of the Gadites, including the cities and villages. This is what Moses had given to the clans of the half-tribe of Manasseh, that is, to half the tribe of the descendants of Manasseh, the territory from Mahanaim through all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og king of Bashan, including all the towns of Jahir that are in Bashan. Sixty cities, half of Gilead, and Ashtarot and Edri, the royal cities of Og in Bashan. All this was for the clans of the descendants of Machir son of Manasseh, that is, half of the descendants of Machir. These were the portions Moses had given them on the plains of Moab beyond the Jordan, east of Jericho. To the tribe of Levi, however, Moses had given no inheritance. The Lord, the God of Israel, is their inheritance, just as he had promised them. Now these are the portions that the Israelites inherited in the land of Canaan, as distributed by Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the families of the tribes of Israel. Their inheritance was assigned by Lot for the nine and a half tribes, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. For Moses had given the inheritance east of the Jordan to the other two and a half tribes. But he granted no inheritance among them to the Levites. The descendants of Joseph became two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. And no portion of the land was given to the Levites, except for cities in which to live, along with pasture lands for their flocks and herds. So the Israelites did as the Lord had commanded Moses, and they divided the land. Then the sons of Judah approached Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses the man of God at Kadesh Barnea about you and me. 
I was forty years old when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back to him an honest report. Although my brothers who went with me made the hearts of the people melt with fear, I remained loyal to the Lord my God. On that day Moses swore to me, saying, Surely the land on which you have set foot will be an inheritance to you and your children forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. Now behold, as the Lord promised. He has kept me alive these forty-five years since he spoke this word to Moses, while Israel wandered in the wilderness. So here I am today, eighty-five years old, still as strong today as I was the day Moses sent me out. As my strength was then, so it is now for war, for going out, and for coming in. Now therefore give me this hill country that the Lord promised me on that day, for you yourself heard then that the Anakim were there, with great and fortified cities. Perhaps with the Lord's help I will drive them out, as the Lord has spoken. Then Joshua blessed Caleb son of Jephunneh and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. Therefore Hebron belongs to Caleb son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite as an inheritance to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. Hebron used to be called Kiriath Arba, after Arba, the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war. Now the allotment for the clans of the tribe of Judah extended to the border of Edom, to the wilderness of Zin at the extreme southern boundary, their southern border started at the bay on the southern tip of the Salt Sea, proceeded south of the ascent of Akrabim, continued on to Zin. Went over to the south of Kadesh Barnea, ran past Hezron up to Adar, and curved toward Karka. It proceeded to Azman, joined the brook of Egypt, and ended at the sea. This was their southern border. The eastern border was the Salt Sea as far as the mouth of the Jordan. The northern border started from the Bay of the Sea at the mouth of the Jordan, went up to Beth Hogla, proceeded north of Beth Araba, and went up to the stone of Bohan son of Reuben. Then the border went up to Debir from the valley of Acre, turning north to Gilgal, which faces the ascent of Adamim south of the ravine. It continued along the waters of Enshemish and came out at Enrogal. From there the border went up the valley of Hinnom along the southern slope of the Jebusites, that is, Jerusalem, and ascended to the top of the hill that faces the valley of Hinnom on the west, at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From the hilltop the border curved to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah, proceeded to the cities of Mount Ephron, and then bent around toward Baala, that is, kiriath Jerim. The border curled westward from Baala to Mount Seir, ran along the northern slope of Mount Jerim, that is, Ches Allen, went down to Beth Shemesh, and crossed to Timnah. Then it went out to the northern slope of Ekron, curved toward Shikaron, proceeded to Mount Baala, went on to Jabneel, and ended at the sea and the western border was the coastline of the Great Sea. These are the boundaries around the clans of the descendants of Judah. According to the Lord's command to him, Joshua gave Caleb son of Jephunneh a portion among the sons of Judah, Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron. Arba was the forefather of Anak. And Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, the descendants of Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talma, the children of Anak. From there he marched against the inhabitants of Debir, formerly known as Kiriath Sefer. And Caleb said, To the man who strikes down Kiriath Sefer and captures it, I will give my daughter Aksa in marriage. So Othniel son of Caleb's brother Kenaz captured the city, and Caleb gave his daughter Aksa to him in marriage. One day Aksa came to Othniel and urged him to ask her father for a field. When she got off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What do you desire? Give me a blessing, she answered. Since you have given me land in the Negev, give me springs of water as well. So Caleb gave her both the upper and lower springs. This is the inheritance of the clans of the tribe of Judah. These were the southernmost cities of the tribe of Judah in the Negev toward the border of Edom, Kabzeel, Eder, Jagur, Kena, Dimonah, Adada, Kadesh, Hazer, Ithnan, Ziph, Telam, Beloth, Hazer Hadada, Kiriot Hezron, that is, Hazer, Ammam, Shema, Molada, Hazargada, Heshman, Bethbalat. Hazarshual, Beersheba, Bezaiodia, Baala, Iim, Izem, Eltalad, Chisil, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Sansana, Labaith, Shilham, and, and Rimen, twenty-nine cities in all, along with their villages. These were in the foothills, Eshtagal, Zora, Ashna, Zainoa, Anganim, Tapwah, Inam, Jarmuth, Adullam, Saka, Azeka, Sha'aram, Adidheim, and Gadira, or Gadirathame, fourteen cities, along with their villages. Zanan, Hadasha, Migbalgad, Dilan, Mizpeh, Jokthil, Lachish, Bozkoth, Eglon, 
Cabin, Lamas, Chitlish, Gedroth, Beth Dagon, Nama, and Makata, 16 cities, along with their villages. Libna, Ether, Ashan, Ifta, Ashna, Nezab, Kila, Akzab, and Mershat, 9 cities, along with their villages. Ekron, with its towns and villages, from Ekron to the sea, all the cities near Ashdod, along with their villages, Ashdod, with its towns and villages, Gaza, with its towns and villages, as far as the brook of Egypt and the coastline of the Great Sea. These were in the hill country, Shamir, Jatir, Sakat, Dana, Kiriath Sunna, that is, Debir, Anab, Eshtima, Anam, Goshen, Halan, and Gilo, eleven cities, along with their villages. Arab, Duma, Eshan, Janam, Beth Tapwah, Afeka, Humta, Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, and Zyre, nine cities, along with their villages. Mon, Carmel, Zif, Jutta, Jezreel, Jokdim, Zainoa, Cain, Jibia, and Timna, ten cities, along with their villages. Halhul, Bethzur, Gedur, Ma'arath, Bethanath, and Eltikon, six cities, along with their villages. Kiriath Baal, that is, Kiriath Jerim, and Rabbah, two cities, along with their villages. These were in the wilderness, Beth Araba, Middin, Sekaka, Nibshan, the city of Salt, and Engadai, six cities, along with their villages. But the descendants of Judah could not drive out the Jebusites living in Jerusalem. So to this day the Jebusites lie there among the descendants of Judah. Luke 1 verses 57 to 80. When the time came for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, when they came to circumcise the child, they were going to name him after his father Zechariah. But his mother replied, No. He shall be called John. They said to her, There is no one among your relatives who bears this name. So they made signs to his father to find out what he wanted to name the child. Zechariah asked for a tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they were all amazed. Immediately Zechariah's mouth was opened and his tongue was released, and he began to speak, praising God. All their neighbors were filled with awe, and people throughout the hill country of Judea were talking about these events. And all who heard this wondered in their hearts and asked, What then will this child become? For the Lord's hand was with him. Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has visited and redeemed his people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through his holy prophets, those of ages past, salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us deliverance from hostile hands, that we may serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. And you, child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give to his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the dawn will visit us from on high. To shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until the time of his public appearance to Israel.